Right now in the file I have on my game, I am only at the uh, the underdog fight on my seventh time through. Eight, nine, nine, tenth. Nineteenth? Tenth time through. Tenth, tenth 19th. time. I will see my tenth ending here. <laughs> Which will happen in the seventh chapter. Oh, I got so much, so many more inventory spots. It's gonna be nice. Oh my god! Looking at my inventory too is nuts. I, I'm going through the fucking pages of meat that I have <laughs> in my fucking storage, and I have like eight pages of just meat. Five are dedicated to uh, the normal fifty percent, then three are just marble meat. Three pages of fucking marble meat. Yummy. Which was fantastic for the Shauna fight or the Shauna uh, dungeon. Because each of those special dungeons has a a gimmick. And the Shauna right. dungeon was you can't normal attack. Really? So you had to use special attacks the whole time. And I didn't think about that going in. So I didn't have anything set up for long range special attacks. And the only short range weapon I had with me throughout most of that dungeon was a lance that had a 10 energy consumption attack. Okay. So I, it hit five spaces in front of it and did That's good. a fuck ton of damage. But man, am I glad I brought a lot of food with me. It's only <laughs> ten levels, but I ate through all of my meat, including, what, six of the nine I could have used in my wife's lunch boxes. Oh, Jesus. It was nuts. I suppose durability goes down the whole time, too, doesn't it? But I have nine visits to the Smith. Because I have uh, all my stuff maxed on them. Oh, also, it maxes out of nine, not ten. Okay. Well, you Which, lied to me, though. I know, I know. You gave also, me bad intel last well, time, too, with that fucking... That's why I brought this. This is my handy-dandy guide. If it gets boring up here now, because you're just lazing through a fucking conveyor belt maze, <laughs> I can, you know, flash my way... If I hit way... another conveyor belt maze, I am fucked. I can just flash my way through some dungeons, because my character is so retarded overleveled. Oh, jeez. And you saw my body chart. Yeah, I saw it. It's... Jeez. It's a neon hell of power. <laughs> Uh, I came in here for a reason. I think it was to get money to my wife. Uh, yeah, my next target amount is also 220,000. My total deposit is 123 because I keep not depositing and I've gone through seven different playthroughs right now since I last put money in. Oh, uh, jeez. If I die, I lose so much cash. I just haven't given her money. Uh, well, you probably want to do that at some point. Yeah. Dude, no fear with my setup right now. All right, uh, well, let's take a look and see what the next uh, dungeon looks like here. Oh, I got a tutorial to do first, oh, I guess. Yep. Barriers, Now, this huh? one I can confirm, but I'm going to double check just to make sure. It is a five and a five. Okay. I remember uh, when we went into the last one, I noticed that it wasn't yeah. labeled as, like, one or two. But I'm assuming the other ones are, like, if they're labeled one, it's going to be five stretch, and then two is going to be a five stretch. I oh, I guess I can't confirm that because I'm not caught up to where you are. Oh well. But I'm pretty sure it's a 5-5. Five, five. <coughs> Not so fast. Making a huge comeback. Oh god. What's this one about? Barriers? I guess, Barriers! I think? Yes! Here's a mechanic you'll never use. Okay. But go ahead and learn this anyways. But it's a great new tactic. It's a great new tactic. You will never use it. You will not use it. The setup takes too long. And it's not really that effective unless you've got a boss that you're kind of throwing it around. But even then. No, I never use the barrier outside the tutorial. Because it also requires you have a certain weapon equipped. Ah. You've got to equip this golden hammer. Yeah. Oh god. Get your character retarded looking. The mask I have on. <laughs> Dude, gives... I'm running around as Metal Gear. The mask I have on gives me increased damage if I have a cape and sword equipped as well, Excellent. which is the most dumb thing. Uh. Barrier. These things called barrier stones. I. Mm. How convenient. You'll never find them in the wild. You can only create them with a hammer, by the way. Okay. It's the only time you'll ever see barrier stones on the ground, unless you yourself make them. Which I want to say is a cast option, but I don't remember. Something I found out earlier is if you use the uh, 
unlosing activate thing or the unlosing ability and yeah. do the HP one, uh, when it overheals you, even if you level up, it'll keep the overheal amount on top of your huh. HP. Nice. Which that was, yeah, I, that was a concern about using it before, but that I found out and that seemed really nice. Look at this perfect setup. You're never gonna place barriers like this! Wait, also like that. Why wouldn't you try and get all three of them in a triangle of pain? That seems like the way to do it! Yeah. The Bermuda Pain Angle. Ugh. In theory, they're a neat concept, but they're just... <sighs> Highly impractical? Very. Especially if you've got enemies that move. They're never going to, you know, sit still long enough to right. do this shit. And your five to six turns spent setting these up in the first place would be better spent just wailing away. Right. <coughs> so again, unless you've got a boss you know you're going into where you're going to throw them around them just for a little bit of extra fuck you damage, yeah. they're, they're not worth the setup. Even says they're best used on bosses. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Now you need to one up the game here though, and barrier all of them at once. Yeah? And how would I even go about doing that? Like one past the turtle dude and then uh, uh, down there? No, I would throw it to the very edge of the map on either side of you. Because you have three blocks, right? I believe so, yes. Yeah, so... Uh, go ahead and throw it as far as you can. That's the... That appears to be as far as okay. I can. Yeah. And then... And up yeah, there? Just, just max them on both, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> And then cast your ability. All right, yeah. And activate it. Oh, you need to. Equip oh the, right, yeah, I need to equip the hammer. Actually, equip the hammer because the hammer's got the abilities. Like I said, you're bound to an item, a very specific weapon, when you do this shit. So it really just becomes a tedious, crap thing to do. And yeah, just hit him with the damaging barrier and activate it. I don't know if, how it'll work, but hey. Well, you well, that's him off. Them off, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say you could just lead him into the barrier and out like around in it. I guess that's true. Does that uh, affect me when I'm? I don't know, but I mean, once you get out of here, you're fully healed. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes, that does. Work. Okay. Right. For a bit, in fact. It does. You know what? Ooh, yeah, yeah, get rid of his ass right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, tutorial in quotes here. Yeah. Uh, I gained two levels. I didn't give you any stat boost, though. Oh. Uh. I was like, oh, no, that's right. I was gonna save. That tutorial hurt a lot. That's because you're a pansy. But I'm a Metal Gear. But you, well, not here. You're not. Oh. See. Also, the okay, gears. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a five-five, probably. Oh yeah, yeah, Fool's Paradise one. I see what you're talking about. Yep, yep. No, I think you're quite right. So. How, have... how do I set the uh, level these guys come in at? Is it in here? Oh, uh, yeah, big dude. Talk to him. This dude? So, yeah, right now they should be set to level 4. Okay. So that's where you want them set. That way they come in right before you finish the dungeon. That way you can see if the little guy has anything to purchase. Okay. Etc, etc. 
because uh, he's the guy who you can purchase like some of the, the more special mods and stuff from. Going in with what you want? Yeah, I reckon so. Okay. I don't really have any money to fix up the stuff I used in the tutorial. Right, right. Which you didn't actually use up much of your own. No, nah, but it was you enough. You used your ability. Yeah. But I mean. But it still took some durability. It did, well, it did. But uh, shorter than one attack. Yeah. Wasn't the end of the world. Yeah. Let's get in here. Except and it was. Oh God. Good thing you're a fool and hang to fool's paradise. A dungeon where final boss crushing power is gained. Got a tip for you in this one once you get to the gimmick. Once you get to the gimmick. Right. Not with that attitude. Not with any attitude. Oh. <coughs> She does have very specific dungeons. Target information. Media Lass. I love her name. <laughs> Age American. 23. American. A world famous freelance reporter. Geo Martin. Oh, I get his name now. Uh, I'm assuming two types of cars, because Geo is a fancy car, I believe, and Martin Aston Martin is a very fancy mm. hired car. Prince of the Mediterranean a uh, Mediterranean Kingdom, they promised to marry each other when the unlosing ranger lost. That sounds like that's somebody's losing bet. Yep. What? If the unlosing ranger loses, they'll get married? If that happens, then Earth will be destroyed. Why would they even We can't that? allow that. You certainly can't. Right. The Earth is where you live. Yeah. Not Bizarro Earth. No. Well, I'm already here. It's a bit late for that warning, isn't it? It is. But don't come back. Well, like, that... you're gonna leave Bizarro Earth again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then just don't come back. Well, I guess that's up to Dark Death Evil, man. Yeah. Is it really? Well, if he would just fucking lay down for me, we wouldn't be having this issue. That's true. think that's enough damage to hurt someone like Dark Death or not uh, Dangerama. <laughs> Dark Death Dangerama. Oh no. You watch out, he's unstoppable. <laughs> I am reckless. God, this is so cutesy childhood <laughs> fucking Saturday morning cartoon. Uh. And by chapter eight, that's thrown out the window. Ooh, we'll no, get there, no, I guess. No. It stays cartoony as fuck the whole time, though. That never changes. Right. But it gets deep. Dangerama. <laughs> so dependable, unlike that other guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That dial. <laughs> Gotta keep the mads going. Now the danger armor's here. I can keep the broadcast on. But I'm sure the execs at the studio are getting nervous because we're putting danger armor on live. <laughs> but what's bothering me more is the unmoving ranger. Is he really a fake? If he's a fake, then does that mean my promise about getting married could be reversed? <laughs> The fucking hope in her voice. Yeah. My beloved bride, my navy will be there to save you. You can rest assured as you jump into my arms. <laughs> uh. Oh no. You gotta play matchmaker here, man. You gotta make true love find its way. 
That's Dark Death Evil Man's entire problem. He hasn't fallen in love. He hasn't yet. I'll give you that. That we know of. He could simply be in love with evil, in which case you're oh, hosed. Yeah. Like, absolutely yeah. hosed. Love Conqueror. Mm. I don't think that's the power of love, Gohan. Anyway, now nah, forget that. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, balloons, huh? Balloons. Balloons are an interesting one. Uh, the biggest thing, biggest, biggest thing to note that I spaced on for a while until it nearly cost me is that you take one energy every time you have something above your head and you move. Yeah. Yep. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that with balloons, but with it happens with balloons too. So be very mindful of your energy in here. Okay. Your goal is to make it to the lightest colored, or the lightest blue platform right. that will have the or the highest platform that yeah. will have the, the stairs, and the, the highest up, one. I yeah, assume this the time. highest one will always have the stairs. Okay. It's usually really obvious which one it is too, because it's going to be smaller than the other platforms more often than not. Right. Like, I can tell you right now, it's probably your northmost platform. I was thinking it might be the southernmost, because that's where it seems to be the lightest. But uh, I guess we'll find no, out. No, they're all the same color, it looks like. But you want to pick up the balloon, where you're at now. And then, yeah, just move over to that next platform. And there's one enemy and a couple items. If you want to explore, I would drop the balloon so you're not wasting energy. Little cat people. Yeah, let's get rid of them, shall we? Just right, cast forget I have your to act magic in. spells. Use your magic powers, oh great mage! For a second, I thought it lived. And then you got two items. To grab. It looks like a poison bottle if you want it, which you may as well take it and take yeah. it out of room. Now that I have room yeah, to work yeah. with, and a sword. And a weapon. Hey! Let's hang on to that. And then you're just going to want a balloon. And then once you grab a balloon, try and find the highest point on this platform. The highest point on here? Yeah. Probably that thing. And now you'll stay at that height. The reason doing is sometimes you'll have to backtrack if you're not able to get into a high enough elevation oh, okay, to okay. the next platform. Like here, you can just get onto this platform and get out if you want to now. Uh, I would throw that balloon though, so you're not wasting anything. Yeah. Else. You can't hit anybody with the balloon, which is no, unfortunate. That oh, damn it. Yeah. Um, uh, let's do this thing here. It'll take two hits and just cast it on yourself. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, boy. Hell yeah. What the hell is it getting ready to do there? Hmm? It's got a question mark. It doesn't see. Oh, uh, okay. I've seen the glove yeah, over. Yeah, I thought no, it was gonna no, try and steal or something. It's got a question mark. Though the cats, I want to say, can steal from you. I I want to say that's their ability, but I could be wrong. Actually, you know what? Seems, the cat uh, paw they give you lets you do that. You've already wasted the energy to use it. Yeah, but since I have, you know, another high staff just yeah, on already. That's fair. <laughs> Didn't do as much damage, though. Well, that's because you were doing special or uh, increased damage with the uh, fire staff, because that was a weakness. That's yeah, why you had that yeah. little, yeah. Snake people! Snake people suck to fight. <laughs> Snake They're going to be a bitch to fight if you're casting stuff as well, unless you think about the fights against them a little more tactically minded, I guess. In other words, you're going to have to take a hit quite a bit. Which, tanking a hit in this game isn't the end of the world. Especially when you have tank bands. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they absolutely decimate you with damage.
Ah, it looks like I will have a modification now. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. He's just telling you not to forget to implant your shit. Hmm. What do you have in your inventory right now, anyways? Probably guns. Oh, I was just thinking <laughs> what do you have as far as uh, healing stuff goes right now. I don't think I brought anything in. Alright. So, you're either going to... Well, you just can't attack these guys from the front. Right. That's going to be their gimmick. <clears throat> so, if you get somebody facing you face-to-face, -face, what you want to do is just run sideways with them parallel and then attack. That's one of the best strategies for dealing with them. Okay. Otherwise, you're just getting behind them. Like, right now, since he's looking at you, cast one of your spells so you can hit him with it. Think when fire you're... or... Uh, huh? Think fire oh, or... Oh, you're doing... Okay, sorry, you equipped a weapon. Yeah, uh, I, I had... would just... Hang on to your longsword just to see how much you do to him. Okay. Well. Uh, I would move towards him. Don't know. No. Okay. Well, that was before that. Now, just run any other direction, like, with him, and then now face him and attack him. Okay. And you'll have to run the way, the other way, so you, oh, yeah, that works too. Just well, basically take him from the side. Yeah, yeah. You'll want to take him from the side, and that's the easiest way, so just run with them and attack him. Or just, like, around them in general. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the general strategy for dealing with them. They're pains in the ass, but they're not unbeatable. Yeah. Uh, the first time I'm I... just going to kind of move around here a little bit and get some health, health back. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you brought some food in with you. You'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> Let's do some jogging here. Right. Uh, one thing I know I did when I was playing this originally, because I just had issues with foods in later dungeons especially, and I'm not recommending doing it, of course, is I ended up going through the first and second dungeon, like, the, the, the first two, five levels, maybe a good, god, six or seven times just to collect meat. Jeez. Well, they're only... Like, meat's only dropped by a few enemies, and all the generic mooks drop meat. Uh, actually, I would recommend going back off the ledge. Okay. Because when you're in the air, you actually move two spaces. Oh, neat. So you can maneuver around him a little bit here. Can and I actually attack him from here? No, you can't do it on the balloon. Okay. You can jump off onto them, though. Okay. Yeah, jump onto him, you'll bounce, bounce, and... Bam. Uh, run Let's... parallel with him. Okay, so he doesn't cast, and then well, walk him too, and there we go. Gator bite. Bam! Now you're doing it! Yeah! Yeah! How long do you think that's gonna last? I mean, you're not doing too bad. No, the biggest thing is knowing what you can do. Because once you're fine with knowing what you can do, I think you're gonna be, you know, able to implement it without any issue. It's just knowing that you can jump off onto dudes right, and do that yeah. bouncing crap in the first place. You can just jump on that cat in yeah. his day. Just a tank right on its head. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yep. Can't do that. Just at all, huh? Nope. Can't hit him in the front at all. Ooh, I got a crossbow. Hell yeah. And remember, you don't have to attack those guys in melee. It was just my recommendation right. because then you would, you know... I, I figure it's easier to grasp, fuck, don't hit him in the face when you're yeah. face to face. God damn it, stop moving, asshole. <laughs> hey, remember, if, you yeah. think, if, he, if he goes into, like, a corner and you think he's going to... Uh, go one way or the other, and you're, like, in the space that's not in the corner, but, like, diagonal to it, you can just press circle X and have him look up. He's gonna be oh, up front. Shit. He's in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> well, now I'll just do this. Yeah. <laughs> he just couldn't let me have my fun. Nope. He is a bit of a like that. But you know what? The name of the attack is one that you can't dodge. Yeah. And he did not dodge it. He just tanked it right on the fucking chin. Oh yeah, no, he took it like a fucking champ. Oh, 
Thanks. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say don't float around on that because that is. Oh, it's, I kind of want to jump. actually not on eating up your energy. Never mind. I thought it would. Maybe I was just paying a little attention like I usually do. <laughs> on that pedestal for you. Yeah. Bonk. Okay. Uh, I don't see the stairs on this one. Uh. That's gonna be that other platform then. Like I said, they're not always small. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. No, I was... Yeah. There's still a third platform that you haven't been on. There's a few I haven't been on yet. Yeah. It looks like. But it is gonna be one of those bright blue ones. So you've got one that's got an item on it, looks like. Maybe. I'll go to the highest point on this map before oh, you right, go anywhere yeah. else. I should probably eat too, real quick. No, no, no. No. There we go. Damn yeah. it. Ah. Oh. There's a point where you just kind of want to jump off and try again. Yeah. I, I do detest that. I would stand on that ramp on and a pick ramp? it up. Yeah, on that ramp and pick it up. See if you can get onto that pillar right next to you. I doubt it, but yeah. yeah. Alright. Get on that. It's not letting me on it now. Alright. Let's <laughs> try from this thing. Okay. Alright, now go one. Yep, and then there we go. Okay. Like some retarded ass puzzle. All right, All right, just keep going that direction. Over this way. Yeah, see what's on that next platform. So that's not, and then uh, go. Oh, the there's other. an item there. Yeah, you can actually just go over the item if you if like the if you go straight over the item while you're hovering, you pick it up, but it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to hit it. Nope. So. Dun dun dun. Oh, it's another long sword. Okay. Hey. That saves you from having to repair the one. Right. Alright, same thing you did to get onto the other one. Oh, already fucked it up. <sighs> it's almost like a puzzle to get off that. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> you got it. When I said you already fucked it up, you were at the point you had to throw the balloon yeah, and try it again. I was trying to avoid it. <laughs> I know. But at that point, it's too late. You already fucked up. Again? God damn it. No, 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 no. You can get on the platform here. You're, you're, no. Keep going the way you're going. And mm -hmm. then move. Bop. Nope, fucked up. <sighs> God damn it. Fuck uh. this place. <laughs> like, fuck this goddamn place. <laughs> I hate it. Okay. All right. The direction you're facing right now is up, right? Uh, yes, okay. I believe so. Go up, 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 okay. right, down. Okay. Left. Le okay. But now I'm stuck here. Uh, right, down. Okay. <laughs> I hate this goddamn place. <laughs> I don't want to be there here anymore. Hop on that nigga. Uh, let's drag him away from the stairs a little bit. No, you wouldn't have been on the stairs. You bounce. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, yep, hop on that boy. Bonk. Then walk with him. Can't forget to walk with him. Yeah. Hey, the meat chunk. Lucky you. And then, uh, eh, that's probably not going to be very helpful. Nah, kind of want to go down there, but fuck this place. 